Let's go find out what just came in the mail. Hi there and welcome back. I hope you're having a good weekend. I know it's Sunday when you're gonna see this so your weekend's almost over. I just want to say thank you for watching my channel and supporting me um, as I go through this journey learning all about invertebrates. I'm very excited. I have four little creatures joining my menagerie. I'm gonna show you how to take care of them. This is uh, an order from Bugs in Cyberspace. Go ahead and check out their website. They have excellent care sheets. I'm gonna be releasing a feeding videos on Friday, and I will have another video released on Sundays and another video released on Tuesdays. So I'm aiming for three videos a week. I hope that uh, you like this video, and don't forget to comment and subscribe. I would love to hear from you. Our first creature is a little tiny spiny flower mantis. Look at this little one. So cute. I wonder if it's hungry. Yes. Then what we have here is a giant budwing mantis. I'm going to go ahead and offer this one some food. Now for its container, when they're small like this, it's recommended you keep them in something small. I've put a little piece of this KT tape. This is used for um, like when you go to physical therapy and they use it to stabilize your joints. It's just tape you put on your skin. Very good thing for them to hold on to. So I've put some along the edge. There is a moist paper towel in the bottom. Um, and then the other thing that I've done is put some of the KT tape on the lid as well. So gone ahead and put a fruit fly in here. Just have to get the mantis to notice it. It really just wants to be on my hand, unlike tarantulas. Oh, the fruit flies are getting out. Wasn't paying attention. Now they're all over. Oh boy. They're leaving. My fruit flies are leaving. Well, I feel like naming this uh, mantis Roy for some reason. I don't know why that is, but Roy doesn't seem too hungry and the fruit flies are escaping. <clears throat> it's a little bit different than uh, keeping a uh, tarantula. Okay, buddy, let's get some of your fruit flies back into your container.
You can go hunting while I house your friends, who are not really your friends, but would probably eat you. Here, get on your leaf. There you go. No! Move my hand! Okay, Roy. I'll see you later. Next mantis that's here is the giant Asian mantis. Say hi, buddy. Now, I've wanted mantises for a long time, so some of you may have noticed that I had a spiny flower mantis in one of my feeding videos a few weeks ago, and I'm really glad that I got that footage. Um, I wasn't maybe a week and a half, two weeks ago, not too long after I, I made that video that, uh, I think my mantis had um, a molting problem and passed away, and I was very sad. I felt, I felt so sad, like, yeah, really sad for days. And I guess I couldn't help myself because here are some more. I'm going to try and give this one some fruit flies without smelling them all and I think there might be a couple running around that shouldn't be. There's one. I don't know if he'll notice it or not. Can you notice that buddy? I wish that my footage wasn't so bad. Um, my lights, lights were supposed to come today. I think that UPS is a delay or something. Amazon says that they're coming, but UPS says they're not. So go figure. Fruit flies and I are gonna have a very interesting relationship. At least they're not getting out at the moment, but I did squish about 10 of them on accident, of course. I'll just do that. All right. So now for my fourth mantis, which is also a giant Asian. So two giant Asians, one budwing, and one spiny flower. Uh oh. <laughs> All right. So. I'm going to put this one on the rim of the container and just place it inside like I did with the other one. Seems to be the best way. And again, I've got some of this um, sports tape so that it can cling to the side when it molts. That's very important. They have to be able to cling to something. When they arrive, they have this little glued piece of moist paper towel of their shipping container that they cling to. It also is damp. So this one has some damp paper towel on the bottom and then it has the KT tape also on the top. This one has already went hunting while I was talking so having a little meal down there. <clears throat> Wish I wasn't like I was losing my voice all the time these days. I don't, I don't know what's going on. It's been for a couple months now like this for me. Oh, the fruit flies are like lemmings. Definitely find them to be a little difficult, but I'm sure that with time I'll get used to it. I remember how I felt about the red runner roaches at first. I was so afraid they were gonna get loose, but you know it's not that big of a deal. Or it has turned out not to be a very big deal. So if I can get the hang of the fruit flies, I'm trying to smash them down or, you know, tap the top and get them to go down into their enclosure before I open it. But then by the time I'm paying attention, they're running over the top. 